What is a supermoon? Simple. This is a supermoon. Oh, chum pum. Supermoon is a full or new moon that nearly coincides with perigee. Perigee is the moon's closest point to the Earth in its monthly orbit. This results in a moon which appears larger than its usual size when observed from Earth. The technical name for the same is perigee syzygy, as in roughly straight line configuration of Earth, Moon, and the Sun. The term supermoon is attributed to astrologer Richard Knoll. Out of the possible 12 or 13 full or new moons each year, usually three or four may be classified as supermoons. Hmm. How was the asteroid belt formed? No idea. But Chum Pum loves to jump on the asteroids. Oh, Chum Pum! About 4.5 billion years ago, our sun was formed from a huge cloud of gas and dust. Leftover cloud of gas and dust started spinning around the sun. These bits began to collide and stick together and slowly converted into planets. But still small bits of rocks were left over. These are called as asteroids. Most of these asteroids got pulled by Jupiter's huge gravitational pull and eventually formed an asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Hmm. How was the moon formed? No idea. Let's ask the moon. Huh? Oh, chum -pum. According to the giant oh. impact theory, Theia, a Mars-sized body, collided with Earth. This collision threw chunks of Theia as well as chunks of Earth's crust into space. Now gravity bound these ejected chunks and led to the formation of our moon. According to the co-formation theory, two similar-sized bodies collided twice, forming an early Earth surrounded by a disk of material that then combined to form the moon. According to the capture theory, the moon was already formed. It was just snapped by the Earth's gravity while it was passing by. Hmm. Why is Mars red in color? Simple, because Chum Pum is also red in color. Oh, Chum Pum! Mars actually has many colors. On its surface, we can see many different colors like brown, gold, etc. Then why does Mars appear reddish? The simple reason is that the Martian rocks, soil as well as dust, contain a lot of iron. This iron reacts with the atmospheric oxygen and forms iron oxide. Now, the huge dust storms on Mars kick the soil as well as the dust into the atmosphere. Thus, from a distance, Mars appears red in color. Hmm. Why does Saturn have rings? Simple, because Chum Pum gifted it to huh? Saturn. Oh, Chum Pum! One theory suggests <laughs> that Saturn's rings are remnants of celestial bodies like a moon or a comet. Hmm. Billions of years ago, a celestial body may have got too close to Saturn. Hence, the side facing Saturn was pulled more strongly as compared to the side facing away. So, this inconsistent gravitational pull may have ripped apart the celestial body into pieces. Finally, these pieces might have started revolving around Saturn, thus forming its beautiful rings. Hmm. What if Earth was made of diamonds? Awesome! Now Chum Pum can easily read at night. Oh Chum Pum! Firstly, if Earth was made of diamonds, even black holes might start getting attracted towards the Earth. Hmm. Secondly, if Earth was made of diamonds, humans might take Earth completely apart. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth was made of diamonds, Earth may now start charging for selfies. Hmm. What if huh? Earth became half Jupiter? Cool! Now Chum Pum can easily go to vacation on Jupiter. Oh, Chum Pum. Firstly, if Earth became half Jupiter, Earth's Jupiter half may become way too big. Hmm. Secondly, if Earth became half Jupiter, Earth's Jupiter half may always be accompanied by Jupiter's 100 moons. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth became half Jupiter, Earth's original half may start hiding from Jupiter's great red spot. Hmm. What if Earth became triangular? No big deal. Even Chum Pum can get triangular. Oh, Chum Pum. Firstly, if Earth became triangular, <laughs> all of Earth's skyscrapers huh? might fall off its triangular slopes. 
Mm. Secondly, if Earth became triangular, humans standing on the edges of Earth may keep on wobbling. Mm. Lastly, if Earth became triangular, uh -huh. planets may start running away from Earth's sharp edges. Mm. What if Moon stole Earth's water? Wow! Moon is so very brave! Oh, chum pum! Firstly, if Moon stole Earth's water, Moon may completely drown in Earth's water. Mm. Secondly, if Moon stole Earth's water, Earth may drench the Moon in black paint. Mm. Lastly, if Moon stole Earth's water, our Sun may catch the Moon red-handed. Mm. What if humans huh? lived on the Sun? No need! Chum Pum is super comfortable here. Oh, <laughs> Chum Pum! Firstly, if humans lived on the Sun, the Sun may not need planet Earth anymore. Hmm. Secondly, if humans lived on the Sun, the Sun may become more popular than planet Earth. Hmm. Lastly, if humans lived on the Sun, now the Sun will have to bear the noise and pollution caused by humans. Hmm. What if Jupiter exploded? No ways! Jupiter can't explode! Oh, chum pum! Firstly, if Jupiter exploded, all of Jupiter's moons may also start exploding one by one. Mm. Secondly, Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. If Jupiter exploded, now Saturn will become the largest. Mm. Lastly, if Jupiter exploded, Earth may start running after Jupiter's moons. Mm. What if huh? Jupiter stole Earth's water? Yikes! I was supposed to protect the water. Oh, chum pum! Firstly, if Jupiter stole Earth's water, Jupiter may have to bear Earth's wrath. Mm. Secondly, if Jupiter stole Earth's water, Earth may steal huh? all of Jupiter's moons. Mm. Lastly, if Jupiter stole Earth's water, Jupiter may start making a lot of money by reselling the water. Hmm. What if the sun exploded? Huh? Yippee! Now Chum Pum will be the king of the solar system. Oh, Chum Pum. Firstly, if the sun exploded, all the planets in the solar system may also start breaking up. Hmm. Secondly, if the sun exploded, the moon may have no option but to carry a candle at all times. Thirdly, if the sun exploded, a black hole may finally make its entry into the solar system. Hmm. Lastly, if the sun exploded, planets may install a nuclear reactor in the place of the sun. 